This will be a demonstration on shape tuning. Go ahead, grab your oval tool, or whatever shape you want to be. It could be rectangle, anything, it doesn't matter. Uh, in this case, I'm using the oval tool. I'm going to put a gradient on it. And then I'm going to go ahead, grab the outline of it, and delete it. So all I have is just the oval or circle. Um, I'm going to go ahead to go out to frame 24, insert keyframe. So and then I'm going to grab my poly star tool. I'm going to select star, leave the settings the same. And on frame 24, or 25 it appears that I'm on, I'm going to create another shape on the final keyframe. I'm going to go ahead and change the color of it. And then I'm just going to select the outline of the star, and I'm going to delete it. And delete. And now I have my star on frame 25, and I have my circle on all the other frames from 1 to 24. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm just placing these on each side of the screen um, so you can clearly see how it transforms into the next shape. On first frame I'm going to go ahead and do that. And this is one way of doing it. I'm going to go ahead and create shape tween and you'll notice automatically it begins to tween the shape. Now if you want, you can go ahead and delete that if you only want the star to be, or the oval, to transform into the star. So we're going to go ahead and play it just so you can see. And there it goes, circle to star. And you notice it also changes colors, so you can also have it be on any color you'd like. Um, and that's it, what it looks like exported as a Swift. Um, you can use this uh, technique with any shapes, and it works pretty well. So, that's it.